What is going on? Steve here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make your own at home workout program. So let's get into it. In this video I'm going to be going through the top four things to keep in mind when you're creating an at home workout program. And make sure you stick around to the end because I will be giving an example of my own program that I'm doing for myself for the next month. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and support the channel. You can use what you learn in this video to create your own workout program. That is the goal, but if you just want to use mine, there will be a full example at the end of this video. Let's jump straight into it with the four things you need to know when making your own at-home workout program. The first thing you need to look at is your goals. Do you want to lose weight? Do you want to gain muscle? Do you want to maintain a physique? Or do you want just something to tie you over workout-wise until the gyms open up again? You need to decide your goals before you start making a program. The next thing you need to think about is your split. In workout terms, a split is what days of the week you hit which part of your body. The most common is of course a bro split where you pick a body part and work on that. You see guys in the gym doing splits like back and bicep, chest and tricep days, leg days, core days, arm days. In terms of at home workouts though, I don't think this would be advisable. Some of the more widely used and accepted splits are legs push pull and full body. So at home, I think either one of those would be beneficial. The example I'm making today, I'm going to be using a legs push pull split because that's the split I'm going to be using when I get back to the gym as well. This will be a six day a week training split doing legs twice, push twice and pull twice and taking one rest day. So it will be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, legs push pull, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, legs push pull and then rest days on Sunday. Once you know your goals and your split, the next thing you want to look at is your volume and frequency. So how often you're going to hit each muscle group and how many reps and sets you want to do in each workout. This will obviously change depending on your split. If you're doing a full body split for four to five days a week, you're obviously going to hit each muscle group less than if you were doing like a legs push pull where you can target certain muscle groups twice or three times a week. Because your split kind of dictates your frequency and volume, I'd say decide your split first and then look at what frequency and volume you want to undertake. There's one more thing you have to know when making your own at home training program. But before we get into that, make sure you have liked this video and make sure you stick around to the end because I will be giving a full example of a completed program that you can use at home. My goals in my own program will be to maintain my physique until the gyms open and I can start bulking successfully again. My split, as I said, will be legs push pull twice a week. For the volume and frequency, I want to hit legs twice a week, push and pull twice a week as I said in the split and I'm aiming for an 8 to 12 rep range on most of my sets but this will obviously change depending on the exercise that I'm doing. I'll go through all that in a minute. The last part we need to consider is consistency. Even though I have put this last on the list it is definitely the most important. It doesn't matter how good your program is if you can't consistently stick to this program for a long term you won't see any results. You can have a fantastic program, do it every day for two weeks and give up on it and it would be about as good to you as never exercising in the first place. Now I do a whole video on the importance of consistency so make sure you check that out if you haven't seen it already but if you have watched that video you'll know consistency is key to me. Whether that's to do with your diet or workout plan if you're not consistent in what you're doing the whole exercise is pointless. We're going to jump into a voiceover here. Now that you know the four things to keep in mind when making your own program I'm going to give you a free example that I'm doing up for myself. This program isn't perfect. It's literally just for me until the gyms open up again in Ireland. But the things we use in this program can be used when you are making programs for yourself or you're welcome to use it if you like the look of it. Looking at our four things to consider when programming, my goals are to maintain until the gyms open and my split will be legs push pull twice a week. I'm going to start with the leg days and try and mirror an actual gym routine, trying to get compounds like our squat and our lunges involved. I want to keep some variance in this program. So on the leg day that I do squats, I'm going to throw in some jumping lunges. And on the leg day that I do lunges, I'm going to throw in some jumping squats. With our main compounds taken care of, I'm going to look towards bodyweight deadlifts and sissy squats as secondary compounds. And I find with at-home workouts, it's great to throw in something that will fatigue and challenge you over time. So I like putting in things like wall sits and low duck walks to really burn the muscle. Because I literally have smaller calves than max tuning, I will be throwing in calf raises twice a week because I want to up the frequency. And you should really be training calves more often than anything else if you want them to ever grow. Speaking of frequency, I will be going through the rep ranges and sets at the end of this. So make sure you stick around. 
Moving on to our first push day, I'm going to try to get a horizontal push in the form of incline push-ups and decline push-ups. I'm going to put in a normal push-up variation then on our second push day. Next up will be my vertical push or overhead press, closest I can get to overhead press at the moment with pike push-ups. Now that I've taken care of our compound movements, I'm going to look at some accessories with diamond push-ups, which target chest and triceps. And I'm going to try and do the same with our second push day with clap push-ups for some explosive chest strength. Next, I want to round off the accessories with some tricep extensions on the second push day and then some dips for both days. That wraps up our push days. I think we've hit our horizontal push and vertical push nicely on this, as well as throwing in some good compounds to round off the days. Moving on to our pull days next, I'm going to use the same vertical pull I would as if I was in a gym and throw in some pull-ups. And just for the sake of variance, I'm going to switch that up to chin-ups for our second pull day. I find it easier to remain consistent with a program when I enjoy what I'm doing and I have a good bit of variance in it. So just like the leg days, I'm going to switch it up with wide chin-ups and close grip chin-ups on the pull-up day and then wide pull-ups and close grip pull-ups on the chin-up day. And again, like the leg day, I like throwing in something that will fatigue the muscles and burn over time. So on one day, I'm going to do a pull-up hold and on the following pull day, I'm going to throw in a chin-up hold. I think that pretty much covers our main compounds and accessories. But because I am trying to maintain my overall fitness during this time, I'm going to throw in a daily core and cardio session. Just like with calves, I need to up the frequency and volume with core in order to see real results. So obviously daily core is the choice I'm making here. With cardio, I want to keep it varied and not overload on leg days. So I'm going to try a kind of medium cardio on leg days with a jog, higher intensity cardio work on the push and pull days and then a really light cardio walk on our rest days. Looking at the program now as a whole, we've kind of hit our main compounds here with squats and lunges, and then have some nice varied accessories with squat jumps and jumping lunges. Our next compounds are then deadlifts and sissy squats, and we use wall sits and duck walks in order to kind of fatigue the muscles. Then, of course, calf raises kind of round it all out with high volume work. Moving on to our push days, we have our main horizontal push with incline, decline push-ups and clap push-ups. We then have our overhead press with pike push-ups and moving on to accessories, we hit tricep and chest nicely with diamond push-ups, tricep extensions and dips. Our main compounds for pull days are pull-ups and chin-ups and then we have a good varied approach with wide chin-ups, close grip chin-ups, wide pull-ups and close grip pull-ups on opposite days. We also round out these days with a pull-up or chin-up hold the same way we did with the wall sit or duck walks in the leg days. So moving on to our frequency and volume, I'm going to aim for about three to four sets per exercise in this program. And then my ideal rep range for these will be from eight to 12 reps. I found in the last 12 weeks, the program I was doing asks for higher sets and higher reps and you get closer to failure, but you get less active reps if you aim too high. In this program, we have addressed our goals, our split, our frequency and volume, and now it's time to look at consistency. If we make good choices like these rep ranges, we will be more happy with the program, be able to stick to it consistently for longer and make more progress and see results. However, if we overestimate our ability and pick a program that we won't be able to maintain, we'll start making excuses, we'll start slacking, and we may just see no results after giving up after just a short time. The real trick to making your own program is simply just to find something that you will enjoy and be able to stick to for a long time. The longer you stick to it, the better your results will be. If you got value from this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you have tried to make your own program or are following one of mine, throw it up on your Instagram, tag me and I'll definitely have a look. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.